about the process of making your first rough layout pass for animation and um, in this process basically you bring your idea into a images and um, for example you may do sketch or sketches before you started to do screen capture um, so that you get a little more idea of where the location is what kind of action would happen in your shots and um, sequence so my idea was if I remember I mentioned to you last section that I will use a cop car chasing a speeding uh, car I probably know I am changing my mind about that I totally use the idea of Mad Max so two cars will chasing each other and um, one car is hidden somewhere uh, behind the terrains and waiting for the other car coming in so and um, what I am showing to you is how I am doing it and um, it's just an idea suggestions you may be do slightly different which is fine this is for people who have no idea how to start it so um, I've been watching this for a bit and um, I watched the whole movie for so many uh, for quite a few times actually I have them in my uh, I have the video in my collection anyway so um, I put some information about the uh, uh, camera uh, motion and um, the movement of the camera name like truck you kind of moving side to side dolly moving forward and backward and then the pedestal is moving up you can also while moving up you can pivot or tilt at the same time and um, pan is just pivot the camera horizontal and tilt is pivot the camera a vertical and then roll is basically rotated on the um, Z direction and um, now when you uh, do screen capture for your storyboard you may want to use these to describe it um, as a these are a, a command key for the arrow symbol on PC um, if somehow you are using Mac you have to Google it <laughs> okay so um, this will apply it uh, when you use your num lock basically you hold alt key and type the numbers on your num lock not on the um, uh, number on your main keyboard on the num lock section and you will get a arrow based on the code here okay so this is what I did and um, I have the established shot I am using a drawn shot bird eyes view and my and my camera is kind of dolly or tucking fall um, just from the right to left right screen to the left so ba basically um, the whole first sequence that I did always camera from right to left and I just keep it consistent so that we don't have a uh, 180 de 80 degree rule breaking um, so and I just use the arrow to show that's the direction and actually these um, I mean you don't have to use like what I am doing like this you could just use Photoshop and just draw some arrow into it you need to um, um, to make a storyboard readable for the for other people to readable to read it um, you need to have some little movement and direction icon to show on your board so basically you can stripe arrow you can even create a stick line or uh, like line that come from the vanishing point there toward to the camera 
to show that that's the dilation of the car and then now my camera is kind of panning pivot so that's I put shot 2 and also shot 2 um, I should have put shot 2.1 and shot 2.2 uh, basically same camera but it has motion on the camera so send my point of view shot and and then um, I will cut another shot and then still panning but this one will be a little behind the uh, green car so that we establish that there's another car watching it watching the uh, red car and then I have a high angle shot shot um, reveal the location of two cars so so that the audience is not confusing we need to be more particular and specific in terms of where are these cars and where are their position so we kind of guide already giving a little foreshadow from the pan camera and plus this guy is behind terrain. This guy doesn't know that there are somebody watching. So shot number five, I just want to show off that the action of the green car. Green car will take off and then moving forward. So I put shot five and these are animated shot again because I wanted to camera to a uh, pan plus a uh, oh no not plan just a uh, pan just a uh, pedestal moving up so that we can see a little more higher perspective from the eye level of the car and then go up higher and this is what I compose them into a short Sh uh, short animatic these are just only first uh, half sequence of my animation so it looks like this okay um, a little technical issue so I have to cut that video off um, so let's take a look at the uh, first pass layout this is just only the first half animatic that I did so let's take a look at them so uh, the red car coming from the right to the left and these are bird eye view now the second shot is the shot that semi um, point of view and camera pan follow that and then cut to the third shot and then the fourth shot is the high angle the fifth shot is the last one a little quick let's watch it again so comes from the right to the left and the blue car is hiding uh, the green car was hi hidden red is coming and then the green car just follow now cut over shot uh, is a uh, high angle shot and this is a pedestal shot so a little quick let me see again uh, let's look at it again coming pan cut another cut this is the last cut so five cut but um what I did is like in between cut sometime I duplicate the camera like for example um, this is the cut stop there I duplicate that camera delete all the uh, uh, when I duplicate without a um, special option uh, special duplication um, it will not duplicate the keyframe it just duplicate the uh, object so then so that's why it's similar level it just pull back dolly out a little so that we can see behind um, behind him behind the green one Here we go. and then um, this shot right here is basically I did that to see um, to suggest the location to the audience and um, 
what the distance between these two cards and then now the action of the green card so um i just did a little bit of banging when it's turn um because um so that it can we emphasize to 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 you guys to see that what kind of action will happen on that shot so because if you look at on the uh, screenshot right here we don't really see what kind of action of the card is just first cut and then the sequence of that cut is like this so um, that's why we um, will have to do a little uh, motion board or, um, no animatic sorry um, motion board is um, is is it's another technique if you do drawing basically not in 3d it's gonna be still image right but you can cut this like um you can use photoshop to crop off leave it only the background and then animate in photoshop or animate in after effect or even in premiere um, to show the car from here move it from the right to the left and then you can scale them scale the uh, the bitmap of the car so that they become smaller so you could do that way too in that case it's called motion board so because it's the motion from the storyboard still board okay so now let's take a look how I did it okay so uh, let me turn that off what am I doing here we go okay okay so this is the file that i did let me change this to one and a total of uh, 490 frames at the moment this is just the first half so i referencing all the object into the scene and i literally duplicate more instance so that i can have more object let me switch so this is the shot one and camera i'm moving a little don't worry about that freaking and then you see the red cars coming here we go and then we'll now this camera can you see i said cam one and then i put the number of the frame uh, from beginning to the end so this is in at 240 and then I cut to different shot so shot 2 and can you see I label them so that easy to figure it out and then now from here this shot will end at 340 cut and then change to shot number 4 so uh, oh sorry uh, shot number three here we go so shot number three is this just another shot that I copy from shot number two the end of number two so basically right there and then I just dolly it out and name this shot number three and then I decided how long should I keep this stay now in my head I will plan that this car will have to show the signs of uh, a little signs of movement maybe um, I might animate like car a little checking from the engine so now this shot until 380 so 381 will be shot number four um, so shot number four is suggestions once again when you do the shot you just think about the uh, rule of third the placement of the rule of third you can use the field chart to help can you see so I kind of try to line them up in the uh, uh, follow the uh, diagonal line it's just because so that I can get a little more um, direction of the eye lines so and um, now after this shot is run to 410 so 
a little bit off screen and then we can cut into what the green car will be doing so we're telling uh, we're telling story through the camera basically and cut to here engine probably fire up and then started to spin and take off banging so just show off um, just try to uh, communicate that it's in a fast action and the green car is in rush like try to catch that guy and that's it so I will show you how I do it okay so now let's take a look at the scene I can switch to perspective can you see I have full camp five camera in um, I don't know some of them are really close to each other so it looks like one um, I should have um, changed the scale of the camera a little different so that we can tell which one is which so now if you look at on the outliner can you see I have a these are locator I animate the locator I am not animate the camera so it's just because it's easier to changing something because it's based on hierarchy same as the car right now my car doesn't have any rig at all none I am still working on it guys and then I will send out the uh, rigging so so what I did is I used the group node to animate the car now with the rig people who know how to rig just make sure that when you rig your car you have a globe node or relocation node which is like this is a group node but at this point I animate that group node so you can use anything as a parent and um, now the reason that you sh must have a globe node because globe node will allow you to relocate your car so that your controller doesn't have a volumes on on it so right now the car has a volumes of course because it's based on the world space so that's why we have to create a new locator um, a new uh, controller for that car so but because I haven't finished any rigging at all but I need to have some kind of uh, rough pass so that I know what exactly do I need and what I need to rig okay so that's how it look and, and each camera I just parenting to the locator and freeze the locator and um, now the locator I freeze it when I already reposition them okay so now and I'm gonna create a new scene so that you know how to bringing things together and we're gonna save this scene as let me set up the project first I forgot um, like I wanted to set to the new version big four here we go set and I'm gonna create a new scene and then I'm gonna save scene as and I am gonna put in this you can cr I create a new folder and name animatic so I'm not going to do it okay let me uh, I can't delete that well so I'm gonna use this okay and then I'm gonna call a first pass layout O2 let's say O2 and just save so this we are saving Maya file and let's see uh, that's my OBS record let's see the size so it's only 14k so 1400k and it's about one megabyte I think and um so now I'm gonna go to oh sorry this window say it first go to reference editor and I'm gonna add a car let's add the scene first environment I definitely um, now when you use reference we can replace them as needed so 
Are you gonna uh, put some distance and mid and so on? I use, I basically use all of this. I didn't use the building at all. So um, let me go to distance one and reference use space name but merge into the scene name space and um, now you can group them right away but I we can group them after so I am do it later here we go so this is one and you can use outliner to select here we go and I'm gonna turn on move to so that I can see right now is a little big because it's such a huge screen so I'm gonna use my top view because now um, let me press F now I could see that pattern so if let's save this quick save scene here we go and I'm gonna duplicate it but I'm not duplicated from here I'm gonna duplicate from this so you can file uh, reference duplicate reference so we got another one so this tens one now it said two on the screen which is good but this is the name okay and you can do a few more so if you get confused you move it first and um, I'm not going to concern about matching my um, original idea because I just want to show it to you how to do it so now can you see I got this pattern I can use that as a track like a, a trail so right now I'm gonna just keep duplicate one more you can use this shortcut different duplicate this is the shortcut oops here we go and hey, I'm gonna select four. Move. Okay, I um my scene will be really long, like a really long, long, um probably gonna be like thousands of miles. I'm I'm just exaggerated, but I gonna just do only this point. Okay, so I just so that you just get an idea of what I'm trying to do now I got distance number two turn on move to oh, you get to select five now move and I will have to look up oh, you can press F to frame all so this one I'm gonna kind of rotate it okay and these are just a roughly get the idea because at the end I might change entirely I mean about the, uh, the the look of the environment I think I could leave that right maybe here so instead of using that see those pad no no just pretend to be like this way here we go so now I got to check on my perspective view I gotta have to move it in in such that I can get the pattern to look like a, a, a road so see it can come from here to there too let me zoom move out a little bit and now each connection you could modify it like you can select the edge I can double click on edge loop now I'm gonna subtract um, because I um, sorry I, I don't remember wh what I was going to say <laughs> yeah so I'm gonna move that and um, oh I, I have what I was going to say is uh, I have a soft selection on you can press B can you see on your keyboard shortcut if you double click any selection to move to rotate to you will see a soft selection option right now it's set to volumes so it will use the bounding box if you switch to surface it will use the pattern or the layout of topology 
Now fall off, you can hold B key with middle mouse. Oops, sorry. You got to active first. Active B key, middle mouse drag. And it changes the fall off radius. And then I can move. Now you can also has another tool that allow you to s subtle modification uh, modify this. It's under mesh to scope to now. You have smooth to relax to relax is basically try to maintain the 3D space of the topology. Smooth is just flat everything. So now let's say if I turn on smooth and I have the brush, if you double click on the option, you will get this. There's a size, the unit is based on world, and then the strength. And now direction, you can sculpting. Right now I am smoothing, smoothing, right? So B key, increase the brush setting, the, the brush size. Now M key is increase the strength. So, right now it's 100, almost. Can you see? There we go. Right now it's on sculpting. If I hold shift, will be smoothing. So I can smooth it out a little bit. Now you might need to look at on uh, um, uh, texture. You have to turn on texture, six. Um, the reason is because it may create too much distortion you can touch up a little but you really cannot do a whole lot so um i'm gonna change to scope two and if i hold alt oh, hold on control key not alt you push without holding anything you pull so you could touch up a little now when you push and pull right now it's based on normal what if I want to be pressing down based on the, sorry, let me close all of this, based on the Y axis. You can do that. You can switch to Y direction. So we'll push this up. If I hold control key, we'll pull it down. So this is another tool to help you to touch up. So basically you want it to uh, fixing the edges so I'm going to switch to Q, Q is selection tool, select this one, and then I'm going to go to sculpt tool again, and it's going to push down on Y, hold control key, and just press it down, so that the it are not, I mean the edges are not floating, I mean intersect is fine, because it's from far away, you really can't really see any, um, I'm going to keep moving, it's just a, another quick way to do things. Not quick way. M you, you could do more like subtle movement um, or create a little more complex look. So I, I'm trying to um, eliminate the uh, the edge because it's without edge we can see it. I, I mean, no, it, it will looks like it's blending to each other. So. Now, when I do that, I am a little lose my, <laughs> here we go, hold on. Now, I'm going to duplicate that uh, distant two again. So I'm going to go to a edit. Don't use duplicate from here. Use duplicate reference because if you do that duplicate, it's become kind of a, let me check the, the, the size of, let me say it first. So, and um, I think it is become a embedded. So now I got three because more object in. Oh, oh wait, wait, sorry, that's a wrong file. So I got only three megabyte. That's really small file with this heavy. Now when I dolly out, if you see camera cut off like that, you select the camera, go to add to view editor this button and then change the far clip plane to maybe put triple zero on it it's just because the scene is so huge and um now near clip plane when you dolly in if it clip 
so it means this need to be less number so put zero in front of it if it frequently like when you zoom out um, dolly in and out started to frequently yes it means these volumes are too low okay if it cut off when you dolly in it means the volumes is too high so that's it okay so let me duplicate a little more edit duplicate oh sorry wrong one i duplicate the camera um edit menu uh, uh, uh no sorry main uh, file menu reference editor and i'm gonna duplicate the distance number two let me duplicate a few times here we go so so now i'm gonna just grab six turn on move and just move here we go and rotate a little so that i could get that pattern ouch Let me check. Okay, I'm confused. Let me change back to zero. Oh, sorry. That's a scale. Uh, zero on rotation. Get confused because I didn't grab one axis at a time. I should have grabbed one. Here we go. So that easy to track. Here we go. So basically, what I'm trying to do is uh, I try to create a a, a pattern that I could see some kind of a space that car can go in it's like a road Here we go. so I can use that I think if you look at on the top view right here that what I'm trying to do I think this one need to be that might have to be out let me move that in the location I got so many of them because I duplicate multiple times so if you don't know where just use the outliner to select so, and one more nine Here we go. and um when you do I'm just trying to do it quick okay um, when you do on your own make sure you take your time on the uh, credit you're seeing so and here we go. Okay. So rotate connect. I think I'm gonna get that one like this. And gonna move in. Oh, let's move this in. Here we go. Okay. And this one I could move in a little bit. Connect. This has a gap, gotta move. You can scale them too if you like. Um, I'm not going to. I'm gonna just try to get. Let's press F here. We go. What camera is it? Am I? Oh, how did I go to the side view? Okay. So you might get a little confused. Um, what I'm looking at it. Let me push and pull until I get what I need. Um, I'm doing it quick like I said when you do on your own don't go too fast so here we go I'm gonna pull that down here we go. and um, let me open up my setting again so I'm using Y so I'm gonna pull that down I wanted to create a road side here we go. okay now I think might be easier at this point if I reference the plane, the uh, the the, the close-up ground. So reference, reference, reference editor, reference again. I gonna do ground right here. Okay. So now the ground. We know that we can scale them as big as we want. And um, because when it's render, it's based on the camera angle. So um, 
might not be a good idea to scale non-uniform guys sorry there we go. so this will be a little bigger just make it bigger and now I'm gonna move this up so that it started to penetrate the ground oh no the terrain here we go so I uh, would we'll penetrate a little more because I want to see the road here we go okay so now you probably seen what I'm doing what I am trying to do right now here we go can you see so that will be the ground and I'm gonna put the ground inside one layers and you can call ground so that we can lock this position ground. okay and I'm gonna lock that save and lock referencing so now I can't touch it I can work only on this terrain so we're gonna keep continue to sculpt more just push it down so that it won't float and um like i said when you um this is just a demo when i do on my own i take a little more time than just what you see because i'm trying to rush to finish here we go and you got an idea now so so it's mean um the car can go around 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 the terrain right so and if you want you can touch up the ground to make the ground a little more concave in so I'm gonna press Q switch to selection tool and then I select and then I'm gonna turn on sculpt tool again and I'm gonna push that down because it doesn't penetrate to the ground we need it to penetrate it so that it looks like a part of the ground okay now if I want the space between there I'm gonna press Q select that's the one so I'm gonna turn on scope 2 and I'm gonna press this down so that the car can run to this road let's say pretend is a road right okay so that's it so that's how I do it and um, you can be more creative about using multiple terrain don't stick it only one like mine I'm just using two type at the moment now can you see when I zoom in um, when we do a close-up shot the ground should look okay so I have to avoid those you get an idea right so okay so now we are gonna figure it out what I did is I did from here right so I do a birth eye shot so that I can see the whole entire map and then we get the idea of how where the car will come and what about the other car let's pretend that this is the path okay so now you will see these are different than what I have on the website uh, on the D2L just because I use different file so let's save this scene as no save scene okay so now I know that I want a birth a drone shot so I'm gonna create a new camera camera create and I'm gonna call cam1 I'm gonna make the name a little shorter just cam1 and then I'm gonna tell from frame 0, zero 001 now some people like to start it from frame 100 or something like that because want to give a little more room of what to do next oh uh, what to do uh, to 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 give more introduction from before 100 frame and some people started from frame zero and set all the key with everything so that frame zero will be an initial stage of location of car or anything that will be animated but for now i'm gonna just start it from, from one and i'm gonna put underscore because i don't know yet how many frame I want it I just want to give a little introduction maybe uh, five second or more five second might be too soon or uh, too fast but we'll see so I'm gonna use my side view as my viewing camera so I'm gonna go to panel cam one and now I am not trying to do dolly in and out I'm gonna literally 
moving with standard 2 right here as the reason I mentioned in the past that we wanted to make the camera like a man manipulated like man holding uh, or a person not a man woman too person holding the camera or set up equipment to rig the camera it's not from the 3d software okay so first I'm gonna just rotate the camera perpendicular to now I look at on my channel box I'm gonna put 90 so that is straight down and oops sorry and then I'm gonna turn on move to and move it up because I want to see from here now turn on resolution gate this is important because we want to see how we will be framing this this will be our composition so now you may use a um, fill chart to help for the composition so I think if this is the center of the line I will shift that right around here because this will be the path that the car moving th through that's it so I'm gonna use that so I'm gonna move it more oh, oh, sorry wrong direction so we'll be right here okay so that's the center I'm gonna move backward uh, move this way because I want the camera to start it to do this from frame one camera slowly move like a you know you manipulate a drone with the camera pointing down and then the car will come the speed will have to be faster than the camera so the camera has to be really slow steady so that we can establish the whole scene so for example if I zoom out more the car might be too small but we will get more idea of where the location is so there's another way that you can do you can do a lower shot and um, or the high angle shot to see the horizontal line of your scene so that you can suggest where the location is so it's mean you do not really do camera shot like mine it's just an idea do more research look in or uh, look at with the um, action scene of the movie that you like or something that kind of suggestions of chasing okay so now let's pretend this is what I like I can uh, move this way a little bit here we go so that is kind of block this off that's the car will come in from there I'm gonna turn the fuel chart off so this might not see clearly what's going on but when you do on your own just make a little plan I already know that it's gonna come like this so now save that's my first shot the camera so we are gonna animate the camera I am gonna animate the camera so what I gonna do though oh by the way I scaled the camera ref uh, so that we can see it clearly that's all so now I'm gonna create a locator that's a new locator and with the camera I'm gonna copy that name I just double click and I'm gonna add locator so that I know that this will be animated so now I'm gonna move the locator to match I just want to match position so select locator shift select the camera and go to modify match transform match only translate here we go so now when I select the locator see it's right there I'm gonna scale it a little bit so so that is a little big here we go and then it says 700 so now 750 something just says 700 so now when I modify fees it it's go back can you see so now I know this is the local scale 700 here we go so now it's big and after I freeze transform seed now this is clean cut a uh, clean we can use this to animate it with a really nice initial uh, volumes as zero so 
I'm gonna lock scale actually I can hide them because I am not animate the scale so this time I'm gonna lock that so that you can see I was locking if you already know you should hide it lock and hide so just let it go away you can't scale it so I'm gonna leave it on okay just for and now frame one let's say it, um we might um you guys might need a so i want just only within how about five seconds so 24 times five i got 120 so that's within five seconds camera move so now i'm gonna select and i'm gonna press s to set all the key even rotation because I might animate rotate and so five second it's gonna move slowly to the left from right to the left so my is an X so I'm gonna grab the X values X tripod and then slowly move oh sorry I forgot we got to parent it after you freeze the reason that we don't I don't parent right away because I want to freeze them I don't want to freeze the volumes of the camera because that's a absolute word space so I want it to be there to identify um, select the camera I can press Q Q selection to select the locator and press P P is parenting so now it look like this when you animate you need to select the locator not the camera we will not touch the camera I mean if you like you can lock them all of them and um actually on my shot um my my last scene my camera focal lengths are different i set it to 55 millimeter um 55 millimeter is kind of standard a uh, film camera there's a 80 millimeter do you, do you um those will be a little more narrow aperture so and um so narrow than uh, the uh, the the aperture horizontal and vertical will be a little more narrower wider angle the aperture will be wider basically uh, uh, um, no, shorter l focal length wider aperture will be okay so now look like this and if you don't like is to zoom you're gonna have to move the camera up and down see and then you repair it Let, let's pretend I do that so I'm gonna change the distance of the camera a little bit here we go and now I'm gonna unparent I'm gonna go to locator so I'm gonna have to move locator you can do um, you can just move it up or you can just select modify match translate and now I'm gonna delete breaking this keyframe break connection face transform again okay so oh scale is locked this is why I don't hide yet to another reason so I unlock now I can modify and freeze here we go so now I can lock this again and I'm gonna set the keyframe on frame 1 press S I can parent the camera you can use middle mouse drag on the outliner of the actual camera drop into the locator so now you get that so frame 120 move on X I'm gonna move like this I just want to move slightly slow I don't want it to compete with the car so let's play make sure you change speed to real time and you can just play let's go back here and oh by the way i changed my setting on the timeline so if you click on the gear little gear icon here under time slider time slider there scroll it down right here update view i want all so that i can see all of them uh, the movement 
I mean, active is mean only the active window that you select the view. So this will be all view will be moving. So here we go. So that I can see my actual camera and the view. See if it's too slow or too fast. This is perfect. A little slow. That's it. So now my first shot is done. I should have import the car, but I did not. So let's import the car. Um, not import, reference the car. Click to reference. I'm going to put a red car. Okay. Car. And I'm going to use no texture one because we just wanted to, you know, like a get the roughly and um idea reference continue and i'm gonna use the red car here so there's a bunch of um i will keep, do another lecture about how to separate the surface and reorganize them but right now i'm gonna move that car into that location so turn on move to so that you can see where it is it's absolutely a wrong way here we go right there and it's gonna be from here it's gonna come out here we go okay so now I'm gonna have to f f select move it up here we go it's really tiny so now if it's too tiny you will have to zoom camera down Move, move, uh, dolly the camera down so press F here we go and I'm gonna look at on top view because so that I can see the location of my car and I'm gonna come in okay so right there in this way here we go so I think might be a little too float too high Run to be about a little above the ground. Oh, wrong direction. Here we go. Okay. Now, when you animate the car, basically, I'm gonna move the car until it pass. Let's pretend pass here. Okay. All the way, and um, and the. Uh, green car will hide right here so that's the idea okay so now let's say it I'm gonna have this happening maybe like 500 frame or you can kind of calculate what about how about 20 seconds so 20 seconds 20 times 24 480 let's do 480 so I'm gonna 480 okay now if you are not sure exactly how long the car will move you can do section by section mm -hmm. the, the problem with a section by section at the end you may have to reorganize them because the car will feel like it's fast and slow fast and slow you don't want it um, let, let's say it's some of the cut it's the same sequence of car moving A to B and then has three camera for example now if you do a from A to B let's say one third you stop you do stop one third of the distance to the camera two and then the last stop in the camera three now the problem is um, each stop is actually a continuity of from A to B right but you divide from A to B into three sections now you will have a different speed unless if there's a turn it's like you rolling the ball if you are rolling the ball from A to B and then you decide the camera based on those distance three camera you will get the consistent motion from A to B but if you plan A to B, but you animate from one and half A and one and half uh, and another one and half A, and then the last one and half, so three section, 
now you may have discontinuity from A to B because you basically you might slow down to point A1 section A2 and then go to the B so I hope it makes sense so from here to 180 let me s I cannot set the key yet I'm gonna leave that as is but I'm gonna use a this time I'm not going to use group node I'm gonna use curve just a curve and I'm gonna scale it really big I'm gonna match the position so I'm gonna just select one part of the uh, oh sorry select the curve and then select the group of the car so that it can match to there and then translate uh, modify match match translation first so that we can see it okay all right so now you see the volumes there right we got to freeze it modify fees and then I'm gonna name red car oops, sorry copy that's nerve will be red car CTL control there we go. or you can call any name you want and I'm gonna move that red car drop it the top hierarchy of the red car there and put it in there so that we can animate this this is clear can you see clean so I'm um, gonna turn on move to frame one I'm gonna press S pretend that I'm gonna animate all of them and then I'm gonna go to frame 480 press S once again guys you don't have to do all the way yet so now the reason that I want to do that because see if I break down to 240 Say, there we go. Oh, I haven't animated yet, so <laughs> so I'm gonna move that right here past that. So now it would look like this. See, okay. So let me press S. Now I'm gonna break down halfway so that it's consistent, and then this is halfway. I'm gonna move that a little. Here we go. The reason is I move that to avoid the terrain. So now, and I'm gonna break down another half. I think this time I can't do half. Let's do half first. So half, I want that, press S. Now, at this moment though, you have a keyframe like there. So I'm gonna change my animation module, visualize, create motion tail. I'm gonna turn on show number of the frame, create so that I can see the trajectory so now I can break down more let's go half it's gonna go right there here we go so it's gonna be a little zigzag and what about here if I do halfway it's nothing much there but I'm gonna do halfway here we go so and if you want a little action like he's kind of you know like a uh, what is it like enjoying a ride so I'm gonna kind of slightly bit there and I am not animated rotation yet I just want to set the camera there we go. and then right here view I think on there I'm gonna play a little bit I'm gonna make him here and then yes make a big turn Shoo just to have fun here we go a big turn right there wow Boop. there's another things going on there's a rock right there so I'm gonna whoop. here we go okay and let's make it more fun midway here slide there so that feel that's it okay so that's his movement okay so now I'm gonna put let's save this scene I'm gonna import the green car and then I'm gonna put the green car right hidden here here so the first shot is done and I'm gonna design the shot based on the action so file reference editor reference the no texture of 
red car. I think I picked the high texture, the high, that's okay. Uh, we, we should use the low texture. Uh, um, no texture because so that, I mean, we can replace them. So now green car, reposition the green car first. Grab the use outliner, don't grab a piece of them. Just grab the whole thing. So I'm going to move it so that um, press F to frame selection. Move it above the ground. There you go. And now you might need to come here. Here we go. So I'm going to move it right there. Press F on this so that we can kind of reposition a little bit more. I have to zoom in. So we'll be right there. Rotate it a little. I even changed the orientation, like ready orientation. So that I don't have to set the key to make it stay. There we go. So now this scene will be uh, this shot will have to be different because I can see the trajectory will be right there. Now if I want him to turn more like this I could can you see I could kind of. but then can you go to frame last frame okay and then go to this car let's see if that green car really able to see to see the red car yes I think he can see it right there right I mean if it's not you got to edit that mountain okay oh <laughs> I didn't pay attention on that but you, you got an idea so I, I need to make it looks like a, a two side so so let's see let's see again if I can if I can see from here because this could be another planning shot can you see right there right I just move it. this is a perspective I just use perspective to figure it out my shot so now I can see that can't really see the car so I'm gonna grab that down a little bit so that the car we can see that the car are watching so and now if we're gonna continue to from right to left if I do like this way I have to keep rotating now it doesn't work that way so as mean this mountain I'm gonna select that mountain I'm gonna shift it away because it's always about staging so now can you see the last uh, one of the shot I can do this he's coming phew, and then we still see on the right right to left just keeps going from right to left don't switch to left to right so always the same so now I know that my last scene can be this shot so I can create a new shot new new camera um, camera I'm gonna just use regular camera scale scale the camera a little bit and let me reposition to this I just shift select this guy and then I'm gonna just match to to move it quick here we go <laughs> and then now I'm gonna select the camera scale it down a little might be too big ah, let me grab that need a little stress give me that okay so now I'm gonna match that so let me put that to camera one and this will be the new camera now the new camera I don't know what number this should be yet I can't put two because absolutely is not going to be only two camera in here so now I kind of try to establish the location I want to look like left to uh, right to left so this might be
and I am manually rotate the camera on perspective view. Okay, where's my car? Where's the? Oh, okay. So that's not right. Okay, I got to move it closer. <laughs> I can't see the green car, so I might have to look at on the direction. So the direction need to be right there. Here we go. So now. Okay, make sure turn on um, resolution gate so that we can see the frame. I actually want this to be like this. Here we go. Still left to right. Let me shift that a little bit. Okay. I should have bookmarked the uh, perspective so that I can try to match them. Too late. <laughs> Ouch. This is so hard. No. Here we go. Almost, so that the angle. We have to shift. How about just like this? So that shot, maybe this shot after pan, and so this might be three camera. Okay. So now I'm gonna name this, but I am not going to do anything yet. So the camera, how about just underscore. Zero, 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 underscore, oh, underscore, 480. We don't know it yet. Okay. And um, I think I like this. Let me, here we go. So it, let's design another one more camera, and that's it for the uh, lecture. So that um, won't be too long. So now the other camera, I want it to be behind the green car to see where the red car come from okay so I'm gonna create another camera and this will be number two now as we know number two zero 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 because don't know what number would be yet and this one will be camera three so okay so on camera two I'm gonna use this view Camera two, okay. So camera, oops, camera two. Select the camera. Here we go. Turn on move to press F so that we can see where it is. Most likely will be underground because the grounds are lower or higher. I did not move the ground. So now I'm gonna match this uh, translate with the green car. I'm going to just use outliner to select the green car. Just green. And then modify match translation. Here we go. So now I can see where it is. Oh, make sure you select. I think this is too big. How about just 50? Okay. Press F to frame selection so that the pivot point is right at that pivot. Uh, at the selection so now here we go we're gonna pull it back go to the side let's just look at angle view and in I want it to be in the eye level of the blue car of the green car so now if you do like mine I have another camera forward to follow maybe let's do that too it just because might be too many uh, many similar um, yeah well, well let, let's see how about this way and then uh, in my animate just let me uh, put in how about like this and then we just follow so that's gonna be the motion like Ooh. Okay, so right 
now and let's move a little bit closer. How about that? Okay. Maybe let's pull back a little bit. Now, if the camera focal lengths are too short, but it's perspective, let's do 55. So let's do 55. Just keep stay with the 55. Um, it's kind of a, like I said, standard film. 55. Okay. And can you see horizontal, horizontal lines to straight? So now this cam will be animated. So let me make the size of the camera even smaller. 30, here we go. 10, 20, 10. Because it's just too big compared to the. Okay. So now create a locator. Locator. Oops, sorry. And um, actually, we can make decision now that what shot frame number will have uh, will be on this shot so we're gonna scrap the timeline until we see the red car pausing right there so can you see let me show you right here so right there and then we're going to make, let's go about pass here. So it's mean, I think, hold on, let's, let's start it from frame 400. So now I know this will be 400. Okay. 400. So I will select camera 2. Camera to 400. 400. No, let's do uh, so it's mean camera one. Let's me look at camera sound now. Camera one, I think we will have to from frame one to frame 400. So the camera one will have to move a longer it just because um 400 400 frame oh, 400 frame so i'm gonna go to frame 400 i'm gonna move camera right here shift move it to 400 oh, i make a little change here now i'm gonna have to move the camera even more let me change this perspective view. It's just because I skip, guys. I I I, I, oh, I skip the uh, the middle camera. It's just because I want to short the time of lecture. So right there. So it's mean because it's really slow move. So we could move until there. Right there. Here we go. Actually, I'm going to do a little more. I'm going to press S. I can also animate movement to this direction too. Because, oops, sorry. Almost <laughs> do that. Because we want to see here. Okay. The action will, our this let's say first half of the action will have will stop right here, then we'll continue to go on and on. Okay, so now I'm gonna come back to let's see frame one again. So if I do four hundred, here we go, and when I click pay play, here we go camera slowly move and then whoever viewer will be able to see the green car already is there and here we go and then we can cut so so now I think this is good cut so frame number two uh, camera two will start from 
100 won, oh, 400 won into 490, 480. Okay, only 5 seconds. 5 or 10. 5 seconds or 10 seconds. I don't remember what it is. So, um, here we go. Let's see. 20 seconds, sorry. That's 20 seconds. So now I'm gonna extend this to 480. So it's mean I have to add more motion right there, right? And then we want this to be that shot right here. Boom. So 400, let me add the locator. This locator one, let's me copy the cam number two. Cam one is already there. Oops, sorry. Copy. Locator will be cam number two. Locator. Face transform is ready. Okay. We need to match. Did we match that yet? Let me press A. Not yet. So select that. Locator. Control click on the camera number two. Modify, match, and match translate. Now press F, you will see it's right there. So we have to um, freeze camera one, camera two, right there. Freeze transform, modify, freeze. And I'm gonna scale that up so the camera is 50, right? So let's do 50 here. We are. Oh, camera is 30. Even. Let's do 30. So that won't be too big. So now, this camera, I already face it. <clears throat> I can put camera number two and drop into that. So we're going to animate this. We're going to set the keyframe from frame 40. Because 40 is it's about uh, the red car will coming. So I'm going to lock just only scale. Press S. Here we go. So now, on frame here, I wanted to slowly slowly rotate it press s and turn on rotate to rotate y axis i could tell because that's the y direction so now how much do we want to rotate though i think that's enough here we go so that's it now when i click play i'm gonna limit this to 401 okay so because that's the shot that's it so pretend that this is it okay actually I have to animate this more double more space so maybe um, because you got an idea when I explain about what I did on that shot so that's it let's pretend this is what I want so now um, one more thing I almost forget my animation on camera one I want to be a consistent red because it's, the camera is not starting to move I don't want it to easing out from frame one and easing in to stop at frame 400 I want them to be uh, I want it to move consistently so under window Animation editor, graph editor. And I'm gonna select the uh, camera one, select all the curve, and click linear so that there's no easing in and easing out. Okay, which is because I want to communicate that these are just keep talking or tracking. And that's it, like a drone. Okay, so save my file. Now I'm gonna do play blast and compose it composite these two shot so first I need to set up my render setting um, come on where my render setting oh right here so I'm gonna use a Maya hardware because just for quick animation and I'm gonna set the setting to HD 720 for now shorter I mean you can set a full 
HD 1080 right away and then on the play blast we can limit the size and um, that's it close so now I'm gonna activate active the camera one window right there okay I'm gonna hide my trajectory I'm gonna create a new to check uh, new layers and just call a um, um, motion tail and I'm gonna hide it so now this might be a little hard to see but you might want to hide camera it's just too small but you got an idea right <laughs> okay so let me uh, uh, I'm gonna show high camera high locator here we go so it's super small right there let me select the car okay and once again when you wanted to animate the green car you need to add another curve on top or group node on top so that we can see okay so I'm gonna play blast this let me limit to 400 frame because play blast will look at on your time slider you can specify but let's do this way it's quicker well play blast it's up to you so you can specify the frame number oh display render. so render setting oh play blast doesn't have specify the frame number here that's weird I thought it it has okay so quality 70 now scale if you want half of it you just put 5.5 5. so it will be 540 instead of 10 for 1080 and um i want avi and encode i'm gonna leave none because last time when i used the um the uh, iyuv somehow uh my premiere doesn't pick up doesn't wouldn't be able to open it so and this is small anyway so i'm gonna call a camera one camera one so will save into the file will save inside the movie and click play blast here we go okay done so and now I'm gonna go back to second view change to 401 and in at 480 and then now this camera I'm gonna deselect everything because we don't need to selection because this is such a close-up we can see it um, I'm gonna turn off camera and turn off locator almost done guys turn off locator okay turn lecture and what's that line come from oh curve Uncheck noobs curve and deselect. So now play blast and name cam number two. Okay, exactly same setting. Here we go. That's it. So not just an example. It's not really complicated anything. So now I can go to Premiere. I'm gonna create a new project and test. You can name any name you want. Just organize my file first for the premium file. Okay, select that. Okay. Okay. And I still have the camera to. It's still. Um, I did not close it. So let me close. Here we go. So import. In movie, I have. Oh, sorry. It's in the wrong folder right here movie and then cam one and two open here we go and I'm gonna select one first control select two and then drop in and then now they connect and then you just export this and then
post that link into a submission so you will post a uh, image of your camera shot and then one embedded link I'll do that so um, file export media Q and I'm gonna call oops, wrong one. Here we go. and I'm gonna put inside the PV I'm gonna call a Lecture and Okay, here we go, and that's it. Okay, and that's it. And um, then you just submit it to the uh, submission. I already created the submission exercise, so um, that's it for the demo. And hope this helped you to get started. And if you have any questions, just email me. I will check email often. All right. Enjoy your week four and be productive.